This is a great way to end my Monday, talking to you folks. I'm John Zadar. I am the host of On Top and Hot, and this is Monday. It is August 14th. Now, what we do on this show, we look at penny stocks, stocks under five bucks on any market that have potential to make us money. We call these hot penny stocks. And when I do my research looking for hot penny stocks, I don't bother with the news of the filings. Not initially. I go running over the charts. I pull myself up a penny scan, say double zero one to three, and I just start going down through the charts, looking for heat, looking for volume coming in, looking for a breakout setup, something that says this chart's ready to move. When I find a chart like that, then I go rummaging around through the press releases and the filings. Find that catalyst. There's a hot penny stock. And I bring these sort of stocks to you every day. And I'm going to do the same right now. First stock we're going to take a look at is CIRX, Sertran Core. Now, I'm going to be honest with you folks. I wasn't initially planning on sharing this one with you. The chart, she's been in a downtrend for a long time. She doesn't look hot. However, there are some token signs not only in the chart but in the information that leads me to believe there could be a pop on this stock. And I'll explain each one of them as we get to them. So CIRX, Sertran Core, she finished the day at just over two cents, 2.25. She is on the pink tier. She's current. She's only got one of those green ticks we're always talking about. She's got the transfer agent verified. We would like to see verified profile. This is validated information that's being done behind the scenes. And when you're trading pinks, you need as much validated information as you can get. So we would like to see that. However, if you are in these for day trades and don't get trapped, shouldn't bother you at all. So let's talk about Sertran. This is interesting. The company does a few different things, but what they're most focused on, they put right up at the very front of this description. Founded in 1993, Sertran Corporation has evolved from its roots in electronics to focus on manufacturing and marketing of Hustler branded consumer products. Now, maybe you're familiar with the name Hustler. It is branded. It is registered. It is trademarked. It is the pornography magazine that was so popular back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Right there next to Playboy, Penthouse, Swank, Wii. But since the dawning of the internet, uh, the paperback versions of pornography just aren't that popular. Well, I'm not quite sure what happened here, but it looks like a company may have bought up the brand. And this company is now moving their products. And would you believe none of the products have anything to do with sex? They say that in 2019, Sertran created LBC Products, a subsidiary which partnered with Glow Brands to introduce and distribute the Hustler Collection. Sertran also continues to maintain the capabilities of its previous core business in offshore manufacturing of high volume products, including fitness equipment and household products for the multi-billion dollar direct response industry. Now jumping on over to their website, we get a little more information about what's going on here. The company likes to take your idea, whatever stage you're at, maybe it's in your mind, maybe it's on paper, maybe you got it partway built, and take it the rest of the way for you. From concept to consumer, from your original product concept or idea, Sertran has the experience and expertise to put your thoughts into action. Whether you need just a one-off, a prototype, or a full-scale production run at one of our many offshore factories, we can help get your dream to market in record time. With manufacturing facilities located throughout the world, the Sertran group of companies has earned a reputation for uncompromising standards for quality and delivery in the global manufacturing market. I don't want to show you that quite yet. We'll get there. So the company de deals with a lot of different products, and some of them are name brand. And I don't mean name brand by big corporations. I mean name brands by celebrities. We have the Sertran bread maker here as an example the Evander Holyfield Real Deal Grill, the True Ceramic Pro Ionic Styling Iron. So this is just a few of their products that they sell. They are involved with sporting goods, fitness equipment, appliances, and electronics. But as you know, they are primarily working on the Hustler products. 
They tell us here the Hustler Collection will redefine the beverage, tobacco, and condom product categories by accessing Larry Flint's blend of incendiary adult content, free speech, and political activism. It is an irrelevant lifestyle. The brand remains the consistent extension of the opulent, decadent, sexy, high-class, luxurious lifestyle of a hustler that millions around the world aspire to. Now, taking a better look at the products that they have, of course, they've got condoms. This is one of their specialties, but they've also got a whole line of tobacco products. They have cigars. They have the tobacco. They have blunt wraps but they are not involved with hemp or cannabis or even alcohol for that matter. But they do have a few drinks. They've got an energy drink aptly named Hustler, and they've got a purified water that they call Naked Water. They also have a line of vape products, the ones where you can fill your own vapes if you do it yourself, or they have the disposables. Now, I found this very interesting because I am a vape person. I gave up cigarettes and I now vape my nicotine. I don't do the carcinogens or the tar from all the tobacco, just the nicotine. Well, these are the kind I use. They're a little bit longer than a Bic lighter and very thin. Well, they tell us here that the Hustler Vape Extreme has 3,500 puffs. Now, I know basically what that is because I buy one that has 3,000 400 puffs and I pay about $25 for it and it lasts me just about a month But it's not that size. It's not a little one. These last about a week Maybe 10 days if you're lucky and they cost $15. Well, theirs gives you a lot more puffs 3,500 they say well, they've also got the one I buy this big one here now this big one the one I buy has 3,400 puffs and lasts me just about a month well, they say theirs is 10 times. 10 times what? That one down here that's got 3,500? You mean to tell me <laughs> that this has 34,000 puffs? I mean, these are rechargeable. You can see on the bottom, you can plug them in so it's not gonna go dead before you use it. And that's good because 34,000 puffs would last you between eight and 10 months. Holy cow, what's this thing going to cost? 250 bucks? So now you know what the company is involved with. What was the relative volume around the company today? Uh, it was up, but it's way down. <laughs> volume is way under the radar. She's normally doing 3,400 shares. She did jump today up to just a little over 5,000 shares. Share structure. Well, here's something. It's a low float, and I mean it's a low float. Outstanding share count is only 4.9 million, just under 5 million. They've got just a little over a half a million for the insiders. Those are called restricted shares. The unrestricted shares, that's the float. Those are the ones that get on the open market. We've got 4.3 million. It's not about how many of the outstanding shares we get. It's just about how many there are. That is a low float. Anything under 10 million is a legitimate low float. So when this gets volume, this could easily jump. And that's all we're looking for is a jump. Financials for CIRX. At the end of 2022, she did $1.7 million. We know it's millions because they tell us here, we got to add three zeros to any of the numbers on any of these charts. Now, that is uh, a lot less than the year before. They did just about $3 million then. Looking at the quarterly, well, she had a real bad last quarter, the last one in 2022. She only did $23,000 and took a huge loss of $91,000. They got it back up to over $200,000, and they're now in profit of one hundred and twenty-seven. dollars So at least they're back on track now. Looking at the disclosures. All right, this is one of the token signs I was looking for, and I don't actually look for it. I've just noticed it. You see what we got here for a SEC filing that came out today, an NT10Q. Think of NT as an abbreviation for the word not. And you know what a 10Q is? That's a quarterly financial. So that says in the abbreviated form, we are not filing our 10Q on time. Now look, folks, she jumped today 39, almost 40% on stating the fact that she's gonna be late with her financials. Well, believe it or not, that's not rare. 
That happens a lot. I see a lot of companies file these NT10Qs and the stock jumps. Now filing the NT10Q buys them five more days. They got five days they have to get those financials out or then they will be late. Now it is a coin toss here. Half the time, half the time, when you see a run on the NT10Q, whether the financials are good or bad, the stock comes down because it's already run. There's nowhere else to go. It's not going to go higher. But a lot of times, the other half, it does continue going. So this is a coin toss, but there are more token signs on the chart that we're going to see as well. Looking at her, uh, well, that's all we got here. So let's take a look at the news. We've got none absolutely no news here whatsoever. So what we've got are late financials and we've got them selling the Hustler product line. And they say they're going to be pushing that. I don't know how exciting that really is. This is really all about the token signs. Late on their filing and what we're going to see on the charts. Come here. We're going to do our charting now over here at Think or Swim. This is the free trading platform you get when you sign up with TD Ameritrade, and that doesn't cost you anything either. So we are looking at Sertran Corporation. This is ticker CIRX. This is a six-month, four-hour view. Six months ago, we had a high on this stock of four cents. She has been falling all this time until the start of June when she hit a low of a penny and a half. Off of that penny, she bounced. She came through all of her SMAs and got on top of the 50. Fell deep and bounced right back even higher this time, falling back to the same zone the first bounce was. In my view, I'm seeing this as a directional intentional spike, giving me an indicator that this wants to climb. It's just looking for an opportunity. And normally when you get these big green bars going up high enough, they tug on the SMAs and they pull them up and they make them go flat. Now she did fall after all of this. She came down here to a low of about 1.6 cents and she jumped up here to 2.2 cents. And that's where she's sitting right now, right up underneath the strongest SMA we got on the board, the 50 day SMA. Volume was very light today. However, the oscillators are showing strength. Our PPO percentage price oscillator, very much like the MACD, MACD uses the whole price percentage price oscillator yes uses a percentage of the price you can see that's pushing up you can see our MACD is getting a crossover pushing up right now and our RSI is climbing what we also see is my ADX is going down now the ADX tells me trend continuation and it has nothing to do with about what direction the red line's going just is it a straight line is it continuing moving the same direction? Well, right now, this one is going up and my ADX is going down. That's a pattern I look for. That's why I have my ADX right up underneath my PPO. When you see the blue line going up and the red line going down and they're spreading apart, guaranteed 100% your price is climbing. So all of this looks good. It's not as weak as it first appears. Looking at our 20 day, one hour view. Not a lot to see here. Going sideways, took that big drop and then the big bounce. Osculators, well, we've still got our spread on our PPO and our ADX. We got that crossover on our MACD and our RSI is still climbing. And to come down to the five minute really isn't worth it. <laughs> is that two days? Yeah, that's two days. So this is just today, folks. So yeah, she's real light on her volume. She has to file in five days. She could file tomorrow. She could file in six or 10 days. There's no telling when she's gonna file. It is just these token signs of the late filing and the bounce that we saw on it and those two directional intentional spikes going through the strong SMA and now the price is sitting right up underneath that strong SMA. They are all the right token signs. We just don't have a lot of trading activity or volume here, but everything is set up. So we're gonna see what happens. I shared it with you, not because it's a hot stock but because I think it has token signs that we can learn to find so even a cold chart we can find the heat are you following me all right let's move on to the next stock ah oh, this next stock we're looking at definitely qualifies as a hot penny stock 
This is Jupiter Wellness, ticker JUPW. Now, if you've looked at her chart any time in the last two months, you were impressed. She's been running for a while. She hit a 52-week low on June 14th, took a bounce, and didn't stop. She's been climbing since June 14th. And today she took another bounce. She had some hot news come out. They are claiming that they have a once in a century hot product. And it looks good to me. JUPW, she finished today at $1.27 and just a little more than 22% gains. She is a hot penny stock on the NASDAQ. So you're going to be able to trade her for free. You can trade her pre-market, after-market. You can have a lot more fun with these major exchange penny stocks than you can the OTC. So what does Jupiter do? Well, they tell us over here that Jupiter Wellness is a diversified company that supports health and wellness by researching and developing over-the-counter products and intellectual property. The company's product pipeline addresses a range of conditions, including hair loss, psoriasis, and vitiligo. Revenue is generated through the sale of OTC and consumer products and licensing royalties. So what was the relative volume around the big news today? Really? That's all we got? Well, at least she's in the millions and at least it increased. She went from 3.5 million to 3.7 million today. Share structure for Jupiter. All we get is the outstanding share count and it's not bad. It's up there at 26 and a half million. Our float's not gonna be over that and it could be a lot less. Financials for Jupiter. Well, she's been growing. Look at that. Over the last four years, she's made some leaps, going from $6,000 to $1 million, $2.8 million to $6.1 million. And their profits are growing as well. Looking at the quarterly, she's doing okay. She had a real strong quarter over a year ago. She is now at $1.1 million. So she's in the black. She is looking okay. Disclosures for the company. All right, we've got a 10Q that just came out here. You're going to want to jump into that if you're interested in the company. Forget about going to Google or going through all their press releases if they have any. Just jump into a 10Q. It has all the history of the company from the day they started up to that date right there. And then these 8Ks over here, they just correlate to the news. So let's bounce on over there. So I've gone back to July 25th here. Now what we've got is two pieces of news about two of their products. This one came out July 25th. The company and San Pellegrino Cosmetics announced the launch of Cosmofix Minoxy Boost in India. Boosts effectiveness of minoxidil for hair growth. The other product, this news came out August 9th. The company reports positive efficacy results from clinical study for its No Stings Topical Jellyfish Protection Sunscreen. Then we've got three pieces of news here about their spinoff. I don't know when they did this, but they spun one of their subsidiaries out onto the major exchange and they owed dividends to their shareholders. And there was a big delay getting them out. Well, finally on August 10th, they gave us a date, August 14th. That's today. The dividend should have been distributed today. And I don't know if they have because I don't own the stock. And then finally, the big news that came out today. Jupiter Wellness teams up with David Gold and D3M Licensing Group to launch Safety Shot, the world's first rapid blood alcohol detox drink. They tell us here that the company today announced it has signed a consulting agreement with David Gold and his firm, D3M Licensing Group, a leader in licensing endorsements and brand ambassadorships. D3M will bring the power of its brand ambassador network and the channel partnerships to support the highly anticipated global launch of Safety Shot, the world's first rapid blood alcohol detoxification product. Now they give us a little more information here about David Gold. David Gold has aligned with and been a key factor in the success of the largest brands in the beverage industry, including Celsius and Seagram's Gin. Its clients and affiliates include NASCAR, Marvel, Wynn Hotels, Mercedes-Benz, and Cirrus Radio. They tell us here that the uh, safety shot was created by a doctor. It has been patented and validated by research. Safety shot lowers blood alcohol content by up to 50% in just 30 minutes. The market is currently valued at about $1.5 billion. 
Now I saw that and I'm thinking that's not a very big market but then you know there's not a lot of products out there like this that actually work. They also tell us that David Gold of D3M commented Safety Shot is a completely new paradigm in functional beverages and we believe it's a once in a century kind of opportunity and I'm thinking it probably is too. Let's go take a look at that chart now. It is exploding and bouncing and climbing and I'm thinking she's got more to give. Uh, Houston, we do have a successful launch. We are on our way to the moon. This is Jupiter Wellness, ticker JUPW. This is a one-year, one-day chart. We've got our 52-week high back here in November of $1.64 and our 52-week low in June of $0.31. Cents. And as you can see, she has been bouncing and climbing off of that 52-week low without looking back. Looking at our six-month, four-hour view. Today is our new high, $1.29. Our old high was back here six months ago at $1.23. And off of that low bubble, she has been running hard. Had some big bounces early, and she is floating on that 50-day SMA, and now she's going parabolic, virtually going straight up and down. Now, we don't see a whole lot of volume here. We'll get a better picture of that on the one-hour chart. But you can see the oscillators are strong. All of them are pushing up right now. Our PPO, our MACD, and look at our RSI. Clear up at 84. Jumping down to that 20-day, one-hour view, that's a perfect chart. We got our low bubble in this corner of 44 cents and our high bubble in this corner, 300% away at $1.29. She has been above her 200 all this time, working on the 50, bouncing off of it every now and then. And right now, she's gone solo on the nine-day SMA, ending the day on her high with just a little bit of pullback here after market. Now we can see the volume. You can see over the last week, she has been climbing. Oscillators are still very strong. PPO and MACD are pushing up. Our uh, RSI is at 69.6 right now. Five day, five minute view. Another perfect chart going from 72 cents up to that $1.29, bouncing off of the 200. You can see that she is respecting it. She is pushed up now and she is now sitting on top of her 50, trying to get back up on top of that nine. Oscillators, they still are pushing up. Not as strong as the hour and four hour, but everything is still showing a lot of strength. Come on folks, she's been running for two months straight. She just keeps coming out with news and now she's got a new plan. I think there's more to be gotten. Put JUPW on your watch list. Don't miss another day of gains. And the last stock we're looking at also comes from the NASDAQ. This is Applied UV, as in ultraviolet. Ticker AUVI. Now we got a brilliant chart. It's an atypical breakout chart. We haven't been looking at a lot of those recently. Remember what they are? That's that 200-day SMA coming down fast and furious like a ski slope and then leveling off in the parking lot and the price is creeping up underneath it, getting ready to break through. That's exactly what we got with the volume there. It has been growing over the last few days. And our catalyst? Money. She's making money hands over fist. Her quarterly reports just keep getting bigger and she's got one due any day now and their contracts for business just keep coming in and they're real big too. So AUVI, she finished the day at almost 89 cents and almost 14% gains. Now for a description, I'm going to go short and sweet. We're going to jump on over here to their website. Applied UV is focused on the development and acquisition of technologies that address food security and air and surface pathogen reduction in the healthcare, hospitality, and commercial markets. They primarily are working with air disinfection and ultraviolet lights that kill bacteria. They've even got a mirror with some sort of bacterial film on it, antibacterial. So they've got a variety of products and they are doing good business. So what was the relative volume around the company today? Well, how about that for a jump? Going from just under a half a million shares to over three million shares today. Share structure for the company. Wow, look at that. We've got a super small float. Outstanding share count is only at 3.8 million. 
They don't tell us what the float is, but we know it's not over 3.8 million, and anything under 10 is a low float. Anything under 5 is a very low float. Looking at the financials for AUVI. Well, these are real good folks. Look at 2022. She almost doubled what she did in 2021, jumping from 11.6 million to 20.1 million. Now look at the first quarter of 2023 virtually half of their annual revenues for 2022. And you're going to see in the news their preliminary results for their next financial, they're claiming is 10.8 million. Well, the first two quarters have exceeded what they did in 2022. So they are growing fast. Checking out those disclosures. We don't have anything current here. The most recent one came out July 21st. It's a Form 4. Form 4s are filed whenever the insiders, the management, acquire or dispose of shares. We are particularly interested when they buy or sell them. That is not the case with this Form 4. So let's jump on over to that news. Now most of this news is about their revenues. We do have one piece here that came out on July 24th. The company's subsidiary, Puro, and its partner, Academy Energy, have been selected as finalists for the GSA's Green Proving Ground program. Now, I don't know all the details about this, but that sure sounds good. And then at the end of July, they told us that they had a significant investment in a domestic production, and they were reporting record backlog of $22 million worth of business. They still got to get done. Then here in August, we have two pieces of news. The company achieves industry milestone, receives first order for patented disinfecting mirrors. The units are for installation at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York. And then they tell us here on August 10th, the company announces it is receiving over $2 million cash deposit for over $4 million order from large developers, validating our strategy to reduce dependence on China. And then the last piece of news came out today. The company reports Q2 revenues of 10.8 million. Actually, they didn't report it, they're preliminary. This is Seeking Alpha saying that. The actual news, they are preliminary, which means they have not been released yet. They're giving us a peekaboo. I don't know why they do that. But as you can see, revenues are growing fast and the chart looks good. It looks like it's ready to pop. So I'm thinking that when these financials come out and they do have the right numbers on them, boom, we're gonna get that jump we were looking for. Let's go take a look at that chart. Let's take a look at this atypical breakout chart, particular AUVI, Applied UV. Now this is a six month, four hour chart with our high bubble at the end of January for $9.70. And then we had a huge fall down to this low of 62 cents, which she hit four days ago. Now you can see she has been piercing through the 200, but every time she pierces it, she has a big fall right after it. I don't know why that is. And after that last big fall, she's been going sideways with a little more drooping, laying on top of that 200 day haul hitting that low bubble and now she's decided to change her trend. She's gotten over top of the 50 and she is working towards that 200 floating on her nine day. And look at the volume, it has been increasing day after day. Osculators, every single one of them is pushing up right now. You can't go wrong if every osculator is pointing up. 20 day, one hour view, ooh, big drop. We went from 99 cents down to that 62 cents, had a big bounce, pierced the 200, came back down pretty much to the same area. That to me is an indicator. That is a directional intentional spike, telling me I'm gonna climb when I get the opportunity. She came back down, bounced off of that 200 haul, has gotten through the 50, is now breaking through the 200 on the one hour chart and she's climbing on the nine day SMA. Osculators are all still pushing up and looking strong. MACD had a little bit of pullback, but it looks like it's recovering nicely right now. Five day, five minute. Look at these jumps, my God. Bouncing off of that 200 from 70 cents up to 99 cents. Fell down to 62 cents and bounced up to 85. She has a lot of bounces with the low float, right? We are under 4 million on this. 
So even with all these bounces, she is hanging around the 200. It is just here today that she has pulled away from it and is now working on the 50-day SMA. She is right up underneath it right now, pushing up. Oscillators say we are in recovery. We got a crossover on our PPO right now. Same with our MACD, it is approaching the signal line and our RSI is a bit cool down there at 51. We've got a low float, we've got strong revenues and we got that quarterly report which is due any day now. AUVI may give you some gains if you put it on your watch list. The same with all the stocks, folks. At least put them on your digital watch list, you know, over here so that you can see them. When the volume comes into play, you know to go take a look at them if you're not already in them. Do some more due diligence, folks. I only share enough to get you interested. Past that, it's on you. It's your money, remember? The more you know, the more you're going to grow. See you, folks.